Uh, welcome. In this video, I want to look at uh, second order derivatives. We have looked at uh, first order derivatives. So when we say second order derivatives, we are simply telling you to maybe differentiate twice or three times, four times, and so on and so forth. So in this video, I want to look at questions A, B, C, and D. And the question that we are solving is find with respect to x the second order derivative of the following. So when they say second order derivative, they are simply telling you to differentiate twice. So we have to differentiate twice in each of the cases with respect to x. So if I get a, we have y is equal to a x. So we need to differentiate this one twice. So the first or the derivative, or the first derivative, which is dy over dx, this sometimes is denoted as y prime is equal to, so we are going to differentiate this one with respect to x. When we differentiate in x, we are going to get 1 over x. Now, because we are finding the second order derivatives, we have to differentiate this one again. So, d over dx squared is equal to we have to differentiate this one again now if we want to differentiate this one I can take this one up so that we have the negative index so this is the same as x to the power negative 1 now sometimes this is denoted as uh, y prime y prime prime so this will be equal to differentiate this one again. So we are going to multiply the power with the coefficient. So here we have 1. 1 multiplied by that, we get negative 1. Then x, the power minus 1, reduce the power by 1. This will be equal to y double prime is equal to, when we multiply, we get negative x minus 2. So, so this is called double prime. This is prime. So double prime means we have to find the second order derivative. Now I can take this one so that this one becomes the denominator or I can change this one to the positive index. This will be equal to negative 1 over x squared. And this will be the second order derivative for y is equal to in x. So I'm going to skip this one and that one. I'm going to answer D, then I, I'll see which one I can solve uh, between B and C, then I'll leave one for you to solve. So we come to D. Uh, in D, again, we are looking for the second order derivative, but D is equal to a function of x is given by 4 sec x. The first one we need to find the first order derivative or the first derivative. So f prime of x is equal to. So whenever we are differentiating sec or tan, I showed you the easiest way to remember that in the previous videos. But if you've forgotten, I'm going to remind you here. I'm going to remind you here. So if we have, we put term x sec, x sec, x. So if you are differentiating sec, you delete sec, you are going to remain with that, and that will be the derivative of sec. In case you are differentiating term x, you get this one, you will move it, then you are going to remain with that. So the derivative of term x will be sec squared x, meaning sec x times sec x. But if we are differentiating sec x, we are going to delete sec, then we are remaining with term x, sec x. But remember to use chain rule. If this is to the power something or it is 2x, so you are going to use chain rule. So here it would be 4. If I delete sec from this, I'm going to remain with term x, sec x. Now that would be the first order derivative. Now I have to find the second order derivative. So f double prime of x 
which means we differentiate this function twice. We've done our first derivative, so we differentiate twice. This will be equal to. Now, when you look at this, you can see that this is a product of two functions. So I can use product rule. This will be u, and this will be v. So I can find u prime. Again, u prime, when I come to this, it will be 4. Okay, I'll delete term, then this will be sec squared x. Then v prime is going to be, when I delete sec here, I'll have term x sec x. So now I'm going to use product rule. Product rule, uh, if we are differentiating two functions, we get v prime u plus uh, u prime v. Okay? So you differentiate v, you keep u constant, plus you differentiate u, you keep uh, v constant. So this will be equal to, we know v prime, what is v prime? Is what we have there. So we have tan x sec x. Uh, this is v, then we multiply with u. u we are given is this one, 4 tan x plus, okay, because I don't have enough space, so I'll come and write it here. So u prime is 4 sec squared x multiplied by sec x, which is our v here. Now, I can simplify, so tan x and tan x uh, will simplify, and sec squared and sec will simplify. So this will be equal to double prime is equal to, so this will be 4, and tan multiplied by tan will get tan squared x, then we are going to remain with sec x, plus 4, you can see here, we're going to have sec to the power 3x, okay? Now, I can simplify further. You can see 4 sec is common, so I'm going to simplify it here. So here I can factor out sec, so f double prime of x is equal to 4 sec x, we are going to remain with tan squared x plus sec squared x, and you can hand there, okay, but if, in case there are identities that, you, that can simplify you, still simplify further, okay? So the next one that I'm going to solve is uh, B. But whenever they tell you to say, find the second order derivative, they're telling you to differentiate two times. Now, when you look at this, uh, this is a function, and that is a function. So we are going to use again the chain rule. But we have to differentiate uh, twice. So let me come to B, then I'm going to give C for you to solve, because we solved something with E. So let's come to B. In B, we have B, Y, is equal to 2x squared plus 3. Okay, so we have to differentiate this one twice. So with respect to x, of course, so y prime is equal to, we are going to use chain rule. So chain rule, you differentiate, you take this one as u, remember, this, if we have to find y prime, which is the same as dy, over dx using chain rule this will be equal to dy over du 
multiplied by du over dx. So I'm going to write this one to be u. So I'm going to have y is equal to u to the power 3 over 2. So now I have to, to say u is equal to 2x plus 3. Okay, I'll write this one to be u which is here. So this statement becomes like that. So I can find dy over du. dy over du is equal to. So I differentiate this one. I'll multiply the power with the coefficient. So I'll get 3 over 2. Then u. Then the power reduces by 1. So I'm going to have 1 over 2. When I subtract a 1 from this power, I'll get uh, 1 over 2. Again, we go to du over dx, we differentiate you with respect to x, du over dx is equal to, this will be 4x. Now we have to plug back in this particular formula, we are going to plug back in this particular formula, y prime is equal to dy over du, dy over du is this one. So we have 3 over 2, u1 over 3, I mean 1 over 2, multiplied by du over dx, which is 4x. This one and that one will simplify, we are going to have y prime is equal to, here we have 2, 2 multiplied by 3, we get 6, u1 over 2. Now, we know the value for u. We said u is equal to this, so I'm going to replace y prime is equal to 6 multiplied by u to the power 1 over 2. So this one will be our first derivative. But we have to differentiate two times because we are looking at second order derivatives. So again, we are going to differentiate this one with respect to x. So I'm going again to use chain rule. I will say that this one will be u. Okay? So I'm going to say y double prime is equal to dy over du multiplied by du over dx. So I have to differentiate y with respect to u, then I multiply with du with respect to x. So, if I try to differentiate this one with respect to x, du over dx will be equal to, this will be 4x. Okay, that will be 4x. Now, if I try to put u here, it will be u to the power half. So, this half multiplied by this one. So, dy over du is equal to, this is u, so I'll multiply the power. I'll multiply the power with the coefficient. I'm going to get 3. Then I'll reduce u by 1. The power on u, I'll reduce it by 1. I'm going to get 1 over 2. If you subtract this, you get negative 1 over 2. Now we know the value for u, so we can replace in this particular formula. Okay? So, have to replace now in this particular formula. I have this, I have that. So, y double prime will be equal to 3u minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 4x. I can multiply this. I'm going to have y double prime is equal to when I, when I multiply this, I'll get 12x then u to the power 1 over 2. But remember, u is this, so I can press back. This will be equal to 12x multiplied by 2x squared plus 3, then minus 1 over 2. So this will be equal to, I can take this one down so that I have this one, uh, power becomes positive. Okay, I can use uh, the reciprocal so that I take this one down. So this will be 12x 
over uh, this will be 2x plus 3 to the power 1 over 2 which is the same as square root so this would be the second order derivative of this one so I've left C for you to practice so whenever you are told to find the second order derivative you differentiate uh, twice that's the meaning you have to differentiate twice but they can also tell you to find the third order derivative it means you're going to differentiate uh, three times so for this and more videos subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you for watching